Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play King's Quest 1 VGA. We have gone back in time. It is currently a half hour earlier than the last episode I recorded. That is because we went through the magic of daylight savings time. <laughs> it, whatever. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I coughed. Actually, that was a clear of the throat. But I got some water in between recording. So, hopefully, hopefully... Hopefully, this will go much better. But, actually, you know what? I didn't say this ever before. But in this screen, before you kill the witch, this is one of the screens she can appear and carry you off and kill you. Just thought I'd let you know. But in this episode, we're going to go after the magic chest that has infinite money. But in order for us to do this the right way, since I actually can't find pebbles because I'm stupid, uh, we need to find an item. That grants us invisibility, and it's a very annoying item to get, because it only appears on like a couple of screens. So to keep walking back and forth until something happens. But I remember it happened sometime around this screen, because I was practicing this, because I knew it would take a while. Hello? Bueller? Bueller? Okay. Wandering along the banks of the beautiful lake, you see a cute little elf. Hello, little elf. Let's look at it. The small elf seems friendly enough. Well, let's talk to him. The elf is impressed by your friendliness and responds by handing you an elegant little ring. I had my eye on ye, Sir Graham. He thinks you might enjoy this little trinket. For just a wee bit of time, it has the power to make ye invisible. May it give ye as much entertainment as ye has given me this day. With that, the elf vanishes. Moral of the story, if you meet an elf, talk to it, he'll give you invisible rings. Logic, it makes sense. Yeah, what now, son? Alright, so we're actually going to plant the seeds now, so we can go do things. And, I'm sorry, that this looks like a face. It's like, there's one of the eyes, there's the other eyes, there's a nose, and there's a mouth. And it's all like, brah, rock, brah, okay. I had my fun with it. Maybe. Now, there's two places we can uh, plant the seeds, but I need to find them, because I don't remember where they are. I think I think we might be able to plant them here. Maybe? You plant the magic beans in the fertile soil. Suddenly, something incredible begins to happen. Oh, no! The ground poop. What the hell was that noise? That's not what a tree sounds like growing. This mighty beanstalk stretches up so high it vanishes into the clouds above. Clouds. Alright. And yes, I'm going to be saving a lot because this part we can die. Let's shimmy up here. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Save this motherfucker right here. Now... <coughs> Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, I have heard in the original version it is ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously hard to climb up this thing uh, without massive cheating. Or, without massive saving. Why'd I get the hiccups? I had the cough and I have hiccup. Gosh damn it. Okay. Need to calm down for a second. Okay. So, uh, we need to climb it up. Climb? Just climb. We gotta take it easy because I think this is a couple of screens that this goes along. And I don't really like falling. Hang on. Get, get up there, Graham. Get up there. Go. Yes. Actually, since we're up here, I want to fall off just so you can see the death because it is a little humorous. If I can. Um. Not, you're already climbing. Like, be careful. All right. I guess I can't fall off. That's kind of pointless. It kind of defeats the point. Oh well. We're at the top. Never mind. I guess I lied and said that the beanstalk was dangerous. But we'll go this way. Whoa, Green, King Graham! You actually have a voice. I mean, Sir Graham. Spoilers. <laughs> Next time, keep your heat feet on the ground and your head out of the clouds. Oh, 
Okay. So don't go that way. We'll go this way. To get over what the f Well, actually, screw that. We're going to fall off so I can get the lols factor. I didn't purpose... I didn't mean to do that. What? Whatever. Drink. Do do do. You suck at this game, so the music's gonna mock me. Okay, we just walk straight this way. And I should have said this a while ago, but we can actually use the arrow keys to walk. It's annoying, but I prefer the point and click. It's a bit easier. And this is a very interesting looking place. You are in the land of the clouds. It is rumored that a giant lives up here. This weirdly shaped tree towers over you. Okay, oh, these weirdly. Okay. Well, let's look around, because there is an item we can get. I think it might be this tree. Colossal. No, nothing up here you'll need. Is it this one? What is this? The ground just... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of mumbling. It's just there's something I want to do and get and... Oh, no! Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, here we go. This is the tree I was looking for. This and the immense, oddly shaped trees tower over you. Let's see, what's this? You see a slingshot in the hole. Sweet! Take it. Let's take it. And place it in our pocket. You reach into the hole and pull out the leather slingshot. Why, Graham, is that a slingshot in your pocket, or are you just stupid? Yeah. Alright. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this puzzle as well, because, like I said, multiple choices, but... Uh, what you want to do is not listen to the music, because that's actually pretty loud. But you can put on the ring to turn us invisible, or we could use the slingshot and the pebbles if I picked up the stupid pebbles. And, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. And kill the giant. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to put on the ring. You place a shimmering ring upon your finger. As you rub it, you turn invisible. Hooray! Then we go into this scene. Uh, this screen. And we're invisible since the giant cannot see you since you are invisible. And we just wait. We wait. And we wait. And we wait. He can't attack us. I hope not. Okay, good. He can't get us. He just wanders around. It's like, I'm a giant. So, yeah. Just so you guys know, I don't plan on doing this immediately after I finish this Let's Play. I do want to get to sleep after I record this Let's Play, because I'm, I'm this far. I might as well just finish this Let's Play in one sitting. But I will do, be doing the King's Quest 2 VGA version after I do this at some point. So the giant is getting tired of looking for you. Seems like he might, he may be all getting ready to take a nap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why is the music doing this? Why? Why? Ah, der, 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 der. Okay. Alright. Okay. Look, he's king. Good job. The huge giant tuckered out from stomping around has fallen fast asleep. So let's be cool. Well, what does this say about this? Giant is asleep on a chest lying next to him. Actually, can I talk to him? Excuse me for a second. I'm sorry, I had to cough, so I just muted the mic. Can I, like, talk to the giant? I don't know if it says anything. It's not a good idea to wake a sleeping giant. Okay, well, let's take this. Slowly, carefully, you take the chest without waking the giant. Alright, so we have two. Count them. Two. One, two. Uno, dos. And adio. Uh, uh do. Uh, I don't know. We have, we have two treasures. So, we can go down to this cave. Cave, go we down. Okay. Now, I'm trying to remember... I, I, I may be wrong, but I think if we just click, we could just automatically go. Um, go? Graham? Okay. I guess not. The spell to make you invisible has expired and you are once again invisible. The dangerous creature's ring has now vanished. Okay. So we have to be careful because sometimes the dwarf appears, the, which is the running dwarf, and he will take one of our treasure. Uh, well, not a treasure, but take one of our items, and we can't get it back. So it's advisable at this point to keep saving. Save often, save every five seconds. 
because it sucks if he appears here, you can't outrun him. I do like how you can just click and go, because Graham has, I guess, a bit more sense to just be like, Okay, I'll just go. Herpa derpa derpa. Do treasures. This music is actually really good, but in my headset, it's actually pretty freaking loud. Yeah. Well, that's the joy of editing. I can do things. Ooh, a door. As you reach out to open the door, it vanishes. The only response you get is the echo of your pounding. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Let's Play King's Quest 1 VGA. I think there will only be about two more parts of this Let's Play. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Let's Play King's Quest 1. Goodbye.